So here we are going to see that how one can, one can mean any person can uh, solve this problem as far as for the English learning's purpose or point of view. First of all, he doesn't have any kind of a vocabulary. If we don't know about vocabulary, he feels that he, is, he has a very short vocabulary, it's okay, it doesn't matter. He doesn't, he don't need to have a to fulfill the requirements of what we say the grammar. Doesn't matter. Why? Because since our school days, we have been learning grammar with the passage of time. But in one way or in another way, some topic or any topic obviously creates a problem for the students. Obviously, that uh, on the basis of that, the students, most of the students, uh, feels some uh, sometimes have hesitated to uh, not to follow the rules and regulations. Okay, then we don't need any kind of change tense as well. Okay. Any kind of tense. But tenses are very much important. Why? Because they tell us about the differentiations about periods, present, past, and future. And whenever we talk, due to the tenses, we come to know that in which form, in which condition, and uh, how we have to talk with each other, and especially how to identify ourselves, especially the talk, the period, the discussion, or the sentence in which uh, tense uh, mean, in which period the tense is talking about. Okay, so what should one do? To learn English, first of all, it is very essential or important to understand that what does English mean? English stands for us what? As we are habitual to talk our native language, whenever we try to speak native language, any kind, just like a Punjabi, it is for us PFF. And what does PFL mean? PFL mean Punjabi as first language. Is it okay? Why? Because we speak first Punjabi and then another language. Okay, same is with the Europeans. Why? Because for Europeans, English stands for EFL. EFL stands for English as a first language. Why? Because they are habitual, they are the native person, they know how to speak this kind of language, how to read this kind of language. So in which countries where the English language is spoken, obviously English language stands for them as EFL language. Okay, and whenever if they want to learn just like a Punjabi language, so Punjabi will be for them as a C B S L. Punjabi as a second language for them, not for us. Okay? So that is why English for us stands as a E S L mean English as a second language. Why? Because first comes our mother language and then another language. Okay? So to understand or learn. What should we do so that we may become very much expert in any kind of language? Why? Because we are here talking about English language, so that is why we will have to do focus about the rules and regulations related or concerning about English language. Right? What should one do? It means that one do, one mean any person. The person, just like in, uh, a student or a person, any person. Who wants to learn English? One mean, one stands for them. What should he do? First of all, he should consider that English is for him just like a big thing. He doesn't know about how to speak, how to read, how to write, etc. Although he has written all these things, he had been practicing since the school time. He had been practicing about to write English, read, just like that, we uh, talk about uh, the later, uh, uh, later, just like after that. First of all, what should he do? He should be very relaxed. Doesn't matter. Suppose, if you are here, be relaxed. Don't be in tension. Why? Because you are here to learn. Okay? Not here to make pressure for yourself, to create pressure for yourself. No. You are here to learn and learn more and more and more. That is interesting for you. And always remember, a person learns more and much better when he finds interest in anything. He finds interest in anything. He learns that very quickly, very rapidly, and very fast. It would be better word. 
So what should he do? He should be relaxed, doesn't matter. Okay. I have to learn it, obviously. Let's see how it is done. Here comes the point. My mind goes blank. Okay. You are here, your mind is entirely blank. When you want, when you try to speak English, okay? If I ask any question, first of all you feel some kind of hesitation. Okay, what kind of answer you have to give me? Okay? And for that, you make some analysis and try to focus on the word which you have listened. It means that for English learning, obviously, uh, four skills are required, which we may say communication skills. And these communication skills are based on four skills. First, listening skills, then speaking skills, then reading skills, and the most important after that, in the end of the writing skill. I will differentiate and as well as define you all these skills with you uh, step by step after when we come to this point. Okay. First, you don't need any kind of a vocabulary, you don't need any kind of grammar, you don't need any kind of tense. Okay? Whenever you learn tenses, obviously tenses play a very important role in understanding and making your concepts clear what is said and what did you listen. Okay? So they will help you. Okay. Here comes to this point. That what, what should one person do? How he can learn English. Okay? First of all, you will have to make up your mind. If you are here, blank mind, first make mind. Then why are you here? You are here to learn English. Your target is learn English. Okay? So this is what we say that you are here to learn targeted language. And what is your target? To learn English. Okay? For that, what should you do? First of all, you will have to remove your hesitation, which we may say in Urdu Hitchitant. Remove that. You are here, be relaxed. What is your name? My name is Shiros. This. As quickly you give the answer, it means you remove your hesitation. In which class you are? I am in Again, it means you again try to remove your hesitation. Okay. What are your future plans? To be a doctor. To be a doctor. As you quickly respond, what does it mean? You removed your what? Hesitation. Okay. Why and when the person feels hesitation? A person always feels hesitation when he could not understand the actual question, what has been asked from him. For he becomes confused. And due to that confusion, he becomes unable to give proper and suitable answer. Is it okay? This is what we say in hesitation. Okay? Then, if you want to uh, remove, if you have removed hesitation, then the next task which you have to do is that make up your mind for the target language. Okay, you are here. You are here in English class. Okay, welcome to the class. So one should, one thing should be, uh, one condition should be followed. And what is that? That should be, that is applied on equal basis for all the uh, students and as well as for the teachers himself. And what is that? Not to speak any other language except English. Make up your mind. You are here. So whatsoever you have to say, just in English. Doesn't matter if you have a little information about that. Doesn't matter. As you will speak, you will make practice. And as you will make practice, ultimately you will gain a lot of them. The problem is this, you, uh, the actual reason for the hesitation is this, we don't make practice. We don't want to speak English. Although we say ourselves with the other person, yes, I am speaking, I am speaking, I am trying, I am trying. But in reality, in practical life, you do not take struggle how to speak. This is the actual reason for what we say as it is. Okay, so what, what should we do? Ultimately, first of all, you will have to make your mind. If I am here, I am here to learn English. And I cannot learn English until I do not speak English. That's clear. So you have to make for obviously your mind. Then the 